What's up, everybody? It's your boy Bob Hollywood with another episode of Bob's Holly World. Today we are going to be doing episode six, I believe, of Civvies, Soldiers, Spacemen, and Superheroes. And it's going to be a short episode, man. I only have for you 11 figures, 12 if you count duplicates. Most of them are Star Wars. I've been on a Star Wars kick lately. I'm just getting figures on clearance and, you know, random finds. Um, I've reviewed every figure you see in front of you other than the first two figures because they were just random figures. I don't even remember where I got them from at this point. But, um, so let's go ahead and start. Um, the first figure is going to be this police officer right here. Um, I haven't given him a name, man. He looks like he might be an officer or Kyle or officer. No, he's going to be an officer of Steve, man. He, in my opinion, his face kind of looks like Conan O'Brien. Like, I see, like, a little bit of Conan O'Brien in him. Um, and, of course, this figure is, let's see if we can find a date or anything on him. He doesn't have anything on him. So, like, I have no clue where this figure's from. I can't even remember where I got him from right now. Like, I've had this, I've had him in the construction worker for a few weeks. And, um, as usual, like, civilians are tend to rank low with me, um, just because they're not special. Like, I had to come up with a name for this guy. But other than that, yeah, this is, this is Officer Steve, or whatever the fuck I called him. But there he is, he's the lo lowest rank. We got a construction dude here. Construction dude has really long ape arms. Let's see if we can figure out where he's from. You know, there's nothing on him. That's weird, man. It's like these people don't want credit for their toys. It's like, oh, let's make some, some crappy three and three quarter figures and just get them out there. So, yeah, this is construction worker, farmer dude, whatever you want him to be. He's a civilian. So, he's like ranked low because of that. I like his arms, even though they're really long. Alright, so for the first Star Wars figure, we got Saw Gerrera from Star Wars Rogue One. Um, if you watched the review for him, you would know that I have not seen Rogue One. I have not seen any Star Wars in its entirety since uh, The Force Awakens. I saw Force Awakens, but I did not see any of the three preceding films, Rogue One, The Last Jedi, or Solo. I mean, I wanted this guy to be better, better, excuse me, but he only has four points of articulation, and his arms barely go anywhere. So that's why he's running so low. I think the detailing's cool. I think his armor reminds me of um, a um, from Fallout, the mech armor, the power armor, and I think his cape reminds me of something from Destiny. But his head doesn't even turn, man. I mean, it looks like Forrest Whitaker. It's cool. So I wish it just had better art articulation. But I'm glad to have this figure. Next up is Ray, and then we have Uncar Plutt. This is from uh, The Force Awakens, so episode 8, well, excuse me, episode 7, and it's just a fat dude. I still haven't softened his joints because this wrist doesn't want to turn. I did turn his head. I don't think I took his head all the way off, and I don't want to risk that. But this guy's cool because he's different. You don't see too many bulky, husky figures, so I know he's an alien, but... You know, realistically, he could just be a fat dude. You could put him in any scenario. I mean, this is sort of future, futuristic-y, but other than that, man, he's just a fat dude. He could he could work anywhere. His face isn't too far removed from looking normal that he couldn't work with a civilian or something. Which he is a civilian, but he's in the spaceman category. Next, we have the Imperial Hover Tank uh, Pilot. If you saw my review for this guy, you saw me continually call him a stormtrooper and... That's what he is. Um, I got a little better lighting so I can see like the, his pants are olive and not black, and that's pretty cool. I thought it was black, but I got some little bit, a bit, little bit of better, mm, a little, I can't talk, a little bit of better lighting so I can clearly see that his pants are olive. And that little detail is cool. He's got a little smudge on him already, so that's that's unfortunate. And, you know, do they get fired for? Do stormtroopers get fired for not having their whites really white? I don't know. Up next, we got Resistance Trooper. So this is cannon fodder on the good guy side. Um, I did a review for this guy, and I popped his head off, and um, I plopped, I put Finn's head on him. And um, I think Finn's a little bit taller, a little bit wider, but if you wanted an alternate body for Finn, here you have an African-American buck, and there you go. This guy has nothing really to say. I do think his helmet reminds me of Halo, which I said in his review. I mean, he's pretty basic. He should have probably been lower than the Imperial Stormtrooper guy, but... It is what it is. I've already made the build, the video. So next, yeah, Chewbacca. I gotta look at this Chewbacca's foot to see if there's a year. Because 
This isn't the Chewbacca from Rogue, not Rogue One. This isn't the Chewbacca from Solo. That one had two straps, both variants. One had goggles and one didn't. But other than that, it's Chewbacca. I mean, he's not gray or anything. He, I don't, so I don't know where he is in the timeline. Obviously, Chewbacca has been in the prequels, original series, and the sequels, and then he's in Solo. So Chewbacca's been all around the mulberry bush. Uh, I don't know where this guy's from. I got this guy at the Goodwill Thrift Outlet. So. This guy and a couple of other figures, just random figures, one of which is going to be revealed shortly, I got for 31 cents. So if you have a Goodwill outlet, check them out, man. I mean, it's a little dirty. You know, bring some hand sanitizer, maybe bring a face mask. But um, it's worth it because you can get some pretty good toys for dirt cheap. 31 cents for him, and it was five other figures. Not all Star Wars, but still, 31 cents. This is $8 in store, or if you get it lucky, if it's at a Goodwill, and like a bag, a normal Goodwill in a bag with like other figures, it might be like 7 bucks. so 31 cents. Up next is, in, well, in third place, rather, is going to be the unmasked Kylo Ren. And the reason why I said there were... 12 figures today and one was a duplicate it is him i have two unmasked kylo wrens um i would not have them under normal circumstances but i bought one and at this point i can't remember i think i bought him on clearance at walgreens recently for two dollars and fifty cents either that or it was uh, five below for the same price and then the few days later I went back to that Goodwill outlet looking for something specific and I got him and the Chewbacca and some other figures. So I was like, I didn't need him, but hey, maybe I can do something with his body if I wanted. Um, so I'm just glad to have him. I don't like to really customize anything if I only have one because um, I like to just have them. So I got one, now another, another Adam Driver head if I wanted to do something with the body or with the head, which is cool. But this guy's ranked number three. Because I like the sculpting. I mean, he doesn't really have good mobility. Or not mobility, but like articulation. But he's cool, man. It looks like Adam Driver with the scar. So this is uh, The Force Awakens. Not The Force Awakens, excuse me. This is um, The Last Jedi, Kylo Ren. So he's pretty cool. They're about the same in all regards. As far as I know, they're the same figure. They do have different, like, ID numbers. But I just figured that was because they, they get the number based on when they were made. I could be wrong. Number two, we have Idrio Two Tubes, and um, at first when I did his review video, I had it under Idrio Two Hose, and um, I'm glad I noticed that. And a lot of these figures, I mean, again, all these Star Wars figures have been reviewed. Most of them have not come out yet, but um, here's this guy, and he's ranked number two because I just like this this detail on his on his jacket or whatever it's considered. Um, he's just, it's its like a waffle print, which I went over in his review, but I just love it. I mean, his head doesn't turn all the way, and obviously you can't remove his head and do anything else with it unless you completely modded this figure, but it's still pretty cool. If I was willing to get rid of this stuff, the hoses and stuff, I could give this body to somebody else. I'm not willing to do that, but again, if I get another one, it's a different story. Last, um, but not least, is going to be Poe Dameron from The Last Jedi. And this is a Force Awakened figure like so many others that I reviewed today or went over today. This guy's in his Resistance light suit. And I like that. I mean, this is a spaceman. Obviously, Poe is from Star Wars. He lives in outer space, but he's a human being. I may end up using this guy for like a video like with, with soldiers. I mean, he could just be a pilot. You know, he came with his helmet. He doesn't look super futuristic. He just looks like a guy that pilots a spaceship. I mean, um, a jet. So I might use Poe for that. If I can get more of this body, I might just put heads on him and make him different. Um, yeah, Poe can be cannon fodder. He can be um, a clone. Bring back the clones all these years later. Anyway, guys, that's it. It was just 12 figures today. Relatively short. I managed to keep this under 10 minutes. So like, comment, subscribe. Share with all your homies. Let them know about me. Let them know where they can find B.O.B. I appreciate it. You guys enjoy the rest of your day.